Hello and welcome into Weekend Life, specifically welcome into Our Town Sunday. I'm Susan Ng. And what's happening in your part of town? Well, in our part of town, which is going to be the Katong Juchet area for the next hour, we're going to talk about the heritage, history and art in this particular area. It is something quite close to my heart, this whole area. When I was born, I, my parents actually lived in Marshall Road, which is, I suppose, smack in the middle of the Katong area. And as I was growing up, my aunt, and her family lived on Kunseng Road and we were cared for by my aunt and my grand aunt and so spent many years at Kunseng Road. So uh, that place really has a special place in my heart. And of course, I'm Puranakan. So because I'm Puranakan, I suppose it holds a lot more uh, special place you know, in my heart as well. This is a colorful district. It's a district well known for its food. You cannot talk about Katong Jutiet without mentioning some food of, of, of any kind. And it is also home to all things Puranakan. And there is now also a Katong Jutiet art district that we're going to talk about. It is circuit. It is a self-guided walking tour. We'll tell you how you can do it, where you can find the map, and what's on this circuit that is interesting that you may not know about. So lots of things to talk about, and I hope that you will stay with me. Listen, you can talk to us as well. If you have special memories of Katong, of Juchet, you can give us a call, 669-11938 to talk to us, or you can send me a WhatsApp message to 963-11938. So let's meet my guests today. Edmund Wong is with me. Edmund is director of business development and corporate social responsibility with a heritage business in the area, Kim Chu Kui Chang. That's Edmund, right. thank you for making time. Thank you for having me today. And with Edmund, my history with them goes back a long time. I didn't know him at the time because he's too young. But my mother and my grand aunt and my aunt used to buy what we call dumplings, rice dumplings, right. kuei chang, right. in the Pranakan lingo, or bak chang, <laughs> to all of, uh, everyone else, from your grandmother right. in her old shop mm -hmm. at Juchet. And this was a business founded in the war, during the Second World War, by your grandma. Since 1945, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so it's a special place in your heart as well. Very much. You are the third generation <laughs> exactly, owner. Yes. What mm. is the one thing you would like us to know, to remember, to think about when we say Kim Chu Kui Chang? I think it's so nice that, you know, synonymously, if Kim Chu comes to mind, people think of rice, dum rice dumplings. Mm. Uh, but we really want to hope everybody uh, to remember that we are known as Kim Chu Kui Chang for a reason, because Kim Chu is my grandma's name, mm. and Kui Chang is the Peranakan way of saying rice dumplings. We don't call ourselves any other name. Yeah, that's right. You know, when I was growing up, I never knew why it's Kui Chang when everybody else used to say <laughs> Bak Chang. But as I grew up, I learned that this was the way uh, the Pranakans did it. Lam Kit Wan is with me today as well. Kit Wan is Managing Director of Colour Inc. And she's responsible for the Katong Juchet Art Circuit. Uh, Kit Wan, thank you for making time to be with me today. Thank you, Susan. Why the interest for you in the Katong Juchet area? Oh, to be honest, I actually um, don't know much about Katong Juchet. And um, it was um, when we were talking to Singapore Tourism Board, they asked whether we would like to do something at Katong Duchet after doing an, um, a project with them for uh, Kampung Glam. So we came actually to explore Duchet ourselves, Katong Duchet, and we really loved it. Mm. Um, the architecture, the, um, the food. Um, the vibes. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's very different from any part of Singapore. So um, we said, yeah, let's, let's do it. So that's why we embarked on this um, art circuit to show more about the culture, the history um, to anyone who visit the place. So from not knowing anything to now knowing almost everything, <laughs> what is the one thing that stands out for you? Actually, I love the architecture there. And um, also, um, the way the houses are built, and um, it's, it's, even though it's like similarity to the ones in Chinatown, it's, there's still something very particular about, about it. Yeah, right? it's very different. And so that's why when we did the art circuit, we, um, we put up murals around the places, but we also highlighted on the um, architecture as well. And we'll tell you where you can go to actually take a look at some of these murals. We've actually posted a picture up on our Facebook page. So you can go to CNA 938's Facebook page and we've put up some of these murals that oh. uh, Kid One is talking about on our Facebook page. And also uh, actually a picture of uh, 
Edmund <laughs> with his Gui <laughs> Zhang <laughs> up there. So you can go there and have a look at it. And then, you know, send us your comments via that page as well, if you like, on our Facebook page. So as you're both working towards trying to share with us mm -hmm. more about the Katong Juchet area, you work to open a Singapore Visitor Centre. Right, that's right. Uh, it was just newly launched in November. Mm -hmm. Right, 16th of November. So with this new Singapore Visitor Centre, we hope that you know more would come to appreciate what we have here in Singapore. Uh, we're trying to feature Little Singapore as part of what it is to be living in Katong and Chuchet. What is it like living in Katong and Chuchet now? It's really vibrant. Uh, perhaps not many people would know how to relate with it. So this is where we are playing a, the role in to trying to facilitate the different events, uh, different merchants having to work with the residents around the area to see how can we uh, introduce this place as a town, a vibrant space to live in, especially for families to rear the families. Um, yeah. How much did you both work together on this whole project? It was really nice when STB brought us together and mm. we, we thought maybe we could conceptualize some of the ideas. Oh, brilliant. Uh, we've always been, you know, Kim Chu Kui Chang, we've always been in Katong Ju Chet. Yeah. So we're like the heart and the beating heart of Katong Ju Chet. Yes. Uh, we, as a family, my family, we know much about the, the community. Uh, we, uh, we have really known much about what it mm. was back in those days as well. So we wanted to tell the stories and, and to help others to relate with the stories that perhaps we would have known. So with, with Coloring, uh, Kit have been really great with a team to come together, to listen to our stories and to feature them in mural forms in the vir various parts, locations in Katong Juche. Yeah, m most of the stories that we featured are actually based, um, is uh, provided by Edmund. And we also in, um, interviewed, uh, not kind of interviewed, mm. talked to um, other stakeholders as well, like for example, the Popia. Um, so yeah. from there, <laughs> we, we came up with all the different murals and the different stories behind them. Yeah, mm. and you've come up with actually quite a lot of murals. I couldn't feature them all on our Facebook mm. page, but there are lots of murals. Mm -hmm. Would you like that to be somewhat like an icon? Personally, for you, well, when people think mm. about Penang, they mm. go, you know, the murals on the wall. Chinatown right. has those murals too, but now Katong Jujian has it as well. So what we want to try and establish with Kit and one of our other partner, Ignite, yes. um, we, we don't want the space and the community that we have to just feature murals. Mm. We hope that the murals could tell stories. Mm. Uh, visitors to Katong Jujet with the murals can interact together. And how would they best interact with each other would be through the use of having to be part of a smart nation technology. Yeah. Yeah. So you just browse through using a mobile phone to the mural art. You should be able to interact with perhaps you see the falling petals of the Mumpat trees, oh. um, forming pink Sounds pastures great. on the ground. And, and just to realize that, you know, in Singapore, we have seasons as well. Um, not the hot, hotter, hotter season, <laughs> uh, but really beautiful fauna seasons mm. uh, that, that happens in the month yes. of February and August. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. And mm. there's lots of fauna and flora, actually, in mm -hmm. the Katong area. If only we opened our eyes and actually exactly. take a look around. It's not just about, as you mm. said, just the architecture. It's not just about the murals. It's about the stories as well. And those murals are actually quite interesting. Uh, there's one with a giant turtle on the mm. side of the wall. We're going to talk about that. I want to know why turtle. And there's one with a kui chang on the wall. We know why. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> so come share your memories with us of the Katong Juchet area. If you grew up in that area, if you're a new resident in Katong, and you want to talk to us, you can call us 669-11938 or WhatsApp us at 963-11938. Back on to Our Town Sunday with Edmund and Kit Wan and we're talking about the Katong Juchet area. Have you found that when you embarked on this project to revitalize the Katong Juchet area by putting in murals, by having a guided tours, by having self-guided tours, that you found out about the area, things you, perhaps you, Edmund, never knew, even though you're third generation and your family's business has been there for three whole generations now. Right, so particularly for myself, perhaps I, I grew up in the place. Mm. I, I have fond memories of the place. And very much, I, it has always been part of my life. So when someone asked me about the place, you know, I, really d didn't cross my mind if yeah. you know there's something something unique that i could share yeah is there anything special uh, exactly right, right? Yeah. because i've always been be within the community yes. so it's only true you know perhaps 15 years ago i started with this venture to to wanted to really try and promote Katong and Juchet because having realized that we have a very rich family history to share um that i realized there's a lot of things to share like childhood memories 
Mm-hmm. And my childhood memories could also be someone else's childhood memories as well. Yes. And all these things comes together very nicely. And where we are today with the Singapore Visitor Centre really gives us that opportunity to share not only memories, but to establish new ones uh, with visitors to Katong Iju Chat as well. So the Singapore Visitor Centre was launched recently, in fact, just on the 16th of November. And together with the Singapore Tourism Board, you're actually offering tours exactly, within right. the Katong Iju Chat mm-hmm. area. And you're going to go through the art circuit that exactly. uh, Kit and her team right. have actually come up with at Colour Inc. Mm-hmm. So it takes us through a walk through this yes. area. What was your first thought when you took your first walk? Well, um, I kind of crafted the first walk. Yeah. <laughs> so I was guiding people through uh, means to be able to explore the natural precinct of the community. So one of which would be to feature a particular plant known as the Mempat Trees. Oh, yes. M-E-M-P-A-T. Yes. We yes. have a Facebook page called Mempat Tree Awareness Singapore. Wow. Uh, do check that out. So basically what we hope to try and establish is to establish a greater awareness and appreciation for this plant. Uh, it's considered endangered in Singapore, mm-hmm. uh, but they're scattered everywhere. Um, we, we believe, particularly myself, we're trying to see how can we en- ensure uh, that this plant can be uh, better appreciated so that you know, it forms the, the community identity. Right. Yes, I see that. Mumpat Tree Awareness Singapore. You've got a Facebook page as well right. as a website. And I think we forget this tree. It is native to Southeast Asia, exactly. isn't it? When Singapore first gained independence, Lee Kuan Yew planted this tree to commemorate our independence and, and also the garden city that we want to represent as being Southeast Asia. Okay. Uh, we kind of forgotten a bunch about I, it. I think <laughs> so. So, hey, listen, if you're listening to us and wondering what tree this is, just Google it. You know, the Mumpat Tree Awareness Singapore is either on Facebook or on a website. And have a look at the picture. And if you see it, you're going, oh, oh this is the tree. I think <laughs> exactly. we just forget the name of it. Mm, yeah, mm. It's pink. It's, it's unmistakably pink. Exactly. And it's everywhere. But I think we don't take a second glance. Right. You know, for your kit, you said earlier that this is an area you really didn't know. Mm-hmm. You were invited to come into it and invited to come up with something for the area mm-hmm. to revitalize it, to introduce it to the rest of Singapore. And when you came up with this art circuit, I mean, mm-hmm. I mean art is your thing. You, yes. you guys specialize in, in this. And when you came up with this initiative as part of the Art and Heritage in Singapore series, this is your second, Kampong Glam was your first. Mm-hmm. When you came up with this walk, yes. You must have met people and seen things you've never met, seen stories you never heard before. Mm. What was one thing that stood out for you? One story. Um, there used to be a tram that ran th- through the place. Oh, really? I yeah. never knew that. Oh, I, my goodness. Yeah. So we were so excited about that because oh, we really? didn't know Singapore had a tram service. Right. That goes, I knew there yeah. was a tram service, but I didn't it's know that like there was a tram service. It goes all the way to Airport. Yeah. Oh, mm. they used to. So it ran through Queens, right? this area? Um, Juchat Place and all the mm. way through to Kalang Airport, right? Oh, really? Mm. How cool is that? <laughs> yes, <laughs> extremely cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you found out there was a tram. What mm. else? Um, like the, the different type of businesses that were there, but mm-hmm. is uh, no longer there. Like the clocks, clock, clock, clogs maker? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yes. and then we used to go get our clogs there. Oh, but really? It was near the market, right? Yeah, right. it seems yeah. that everybody need, like has to wear a a, a pair of clogs and it's a ward off evil yeah. or something. Okay, yeah. so so if you're wondering what we're talking about, we're talking mm. about those red clogs. In, in Teochew, we call it takya. Takya, mm. takya. takya right? Takya. And with a black band, you can choose if you're a girl, you have a pink band or, or you red have a one. red one or a mm. multicolored one. But those clogs would be with us every time we went into the a wet, wet area. Market, yeah. A mm. wet area like even our bathrooms. My mm-hmm. mom would always have a pair there. My grandmother, my grand aunts, there would always be a pair. And you're a child, they're always too <laughs> big for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, clock maker, yes. What else? Ooh, mm, what else? Um, there were like... Mm, the there, there was like the sea turtle, like I mentioned to them oh, yeah. about. Okay, like, you know, okay let's hey, talk about the sea turtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is it about Thanks. the sea turtle? No, you, you know how Katom got its name was really mainly because of the sea turtles, the leatherback sea mm. turtles. Okay. And we've kind of forgotten how it got its name, like Tanjong Katong. You see, ah. Juchet used to be known as Juchet, and Katong got its name much later because. Um, you know, much of the land in the eastern part of Singapore yes, were reclaimed. reclaimed yeah. Now, this particular breed of sea turtles called the leatherback sea turtles, they would come and they would spawn on our island. Yes. And that's why it was known as Tanjong Katong, m- meaning the meeting place of sea turtles. 
Um, and that's oh, how it got its name. You learn something new yeah. every day. Okay. And, and that's why Kate um, and, and her artists, you know, they came up with the <laughs> idea of having to draw um, sea turtles on um, a wall uh, in one of the old shop houses. So it gives our guide an opportunity to, to talk about the sea turtles and, and how, you know, in Katong Chat we kind of evolved over the years. Hey, listen, guys, if you're out and about today and you're wanting to go somewhere and you're not sure you're driving around, maybe not so aimlessly, but you want a destination, maybe the Katong Juchiat area might be the place to go. We've, I put up that picture only because I liked it, <laughs> you know, of this giant sea turtle on the sea of blue on the side <laughs> of a building. <laughs> so now mm. that you know the meaning of this sea turtle on the side yes. of a building, perhaps you want to take your kids down there to have have a look and this building is on which street east coast um is actually in front of beach houses and it's exactly the spot mm. where the turtles supposed to come out last time right ah yeah. so it's on east coast road itself yes i think 150 or something um yes there right. is a very small it's slip road side lane right it's along yes. east coast road mm. you're right but there's a small slip road that's also known as east coast road okay. uh you have to just turn in there it's right. okay. mm. Yong Stu Chiu Kui, I think. Exactly. Oh, I yeah. 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 Yes. It's on the wall yes. of Yong Stu Chiu Kui. Ah, Yong's, yeah. you know, was mm. a. Th- yeah, my father used to love Yong's, and they were at Upper Serangoon as a oh. Teochew staple. Mm. No, mm. Yong's Stu Chiu Kui. Yeah, so these are the things that you uncovered whilst you were planning the precinct, you know, and I know it's art and everything, but mm. it's quite historical as well. Yes. For those of us foodies, we'll remember a lot of the old names that mm-hmm. are on your map. The one that stands out for me is uh, Kwe Guan Huat Popia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, in the old days, mm. we would only go there to buy the Popia skins because my grand aunts would make all their own mm. fillings, but they have great fillings as well. So we'll come back and talk more about the Katong Juchet precinct, and it's one of Justine's favorite places to be at <laughs> so, <laughs> and a uh, great food you know great drinks in the area too and you're welcome to share your memories with us at 6691193 or send us a whatsapp message yeah you know our number 9631193 our town sunday continues in just a moment thank you for staying with us Welcome back into Our Town Sunday on Weekend Life. I'm Susan Ng, and today we are going to give you an idea of what you can do over the weekend. It can be any weekend, and if you have no plans or have a plan, work this into your plan. Go into the Katong Juchiat area. Whether you used to live there before, you've never visited there before, you're new to the area, this is an area that's rich in history, in heritage, and now art as well. And a Singapore Visitor Centre has opened in the area that can give you more information about this whole precinct of Katong and Juchiat. Uh, many people remember it for its fabulous food from a long, long time ago. Back when I was a child, food was the thing that you would go to Katong and Juchiat for. And it continues to be that way, but there's a whole lot more now and perhaps renewed interest mm-hmm. in our heritage and in our history. And that hopefully will bring a lot more foot traffic in to the area as well uh, not just for the businesses but for everyone who lives there and who has a vested interest in the area as a Singaporean I think we should be very proud of this particular uh, precinct of ours Edmund Wong is with me today Edmund is Director Business Development and Corporate Social Responsibility with Kim Chu Kui Chang Private Limited and this is a heritage business in fact Edmund is a third generation business owner his grandmother started Kim Chu Kui Chang uh, during World War II in 1945 and there's a great story behind that as well <laughs> uh, Lam Kit Wan Managing Director of Color Inc is with me today as well and they're responsible for all the art that you will see when you head into Katong and Juchet, the gorgeous murals that are on the buildings. And you'll have to go look for them, but there's a map to help you out along the way so you don't have to wander about aimlessly. And the Ju- Katong Juchet Art Circuit is available, and it's about revitalizing the area, isn't it, mm-hmm. uh, Kidman? Mm-hmm. You moved in there, you, di- you didn't know. Katong Juchet. No, not at all. Have you fallen in love with it? Oh, like, yes. Oh, we are going yeah. this evening again <laughs> <laughs> with the whole family. As a visitor nice. this yes. time. Okay. Mm. Is there a favorite place in Katong Juchet that you always gravitate to or that you would love to show your family? 
Um, well, besides the murals, um, um, the the um, the beach houses mm. um, near the turtle wall. Yes. Yeah, okay. that's very nice. And of okay. course, the food. We love um, ubin seafood and also popia and the goichang. Oh, yes. Yeah, popia is great. Yes, goichang yes. actually, that's my favorite. Mm. You know. But then I have, I have fond memories of eating that even while I was a child, a very young child. When you were working on this particular area, and Edmund, you really want us to understand Katong Juche mm -hmm. for more than it's Exactly, food. It's, it's more than it's, just it's the food, yes, exactly. So you decided to start up a Singapore Visitor Centre, and you had the Singapore Tourism Board yes. who stepped up to right. back you on mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Talk about the Visitor Centre. Why? Right. What? I think for, for the longest time, we've been uh, in our own effort trying our very best to promote mm. the idea that being Paranakan is not a racial thing. Mm. Nobody, nobody can be born Paranakan per se. Yeah. Being, there's no such thing as a Paranakan race. So simply if I could give you the short definition, our culture is not about the marriage of races that defines us. It's about the marriage of cultures that allows our culture to thrive. So in Katong and Juchet, we have a good mix of that. Mm -hmm. And where best to showcase it than to just feature it as Little Singapore, right? And that's what you've called it because I watched your video, you know, Little Singapore. <laughs> what is in your visitor centre? Right, so we have a cooking studio where we can ah. conduct cooking classes. Oh, cool. We have a textile studio where we could do craft works. Um, and outside of the space that we have, we are trying to feature very interesting places. Like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm very sure you've not heard of an ant museum around the area. Ant? Exactly. You could visit a museum filled with ants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are a boxing ring in the area as well. Uh, we could get yourself signed sign up for boxing rings, uh, activities. Okay. Um, very interesting activities around the area. Um, not just food, mm. but to get yourself involved in arts and craft, uh, visiting the space, getting a little bit more effort by hiring a, a guide, perhaps, to bring you around the various places to find out more about Katong and Juche because it is vibrant, it is alive, it will continue to evolve. Right. So within the visitor center, you've got all of these. You've got retail, you have yes. a cooking studio, you have food, you have private dining. Right. Uh, I mean, you cannot forget the food, really. <laughs> you know, when you talk about a uh, marriage of cultures and, and a melting pot of cultures, mm -hmm. you cannot leave out the food. Exactly. Right? exactly. You taste something, you go, ah, this is whatever. Right. Right. And so you really cannot leave that out. Right, right, right. And we don't want to, to discount the fact that because we are a melting pot, uh, and that cultures comes together. We, as a visitor center now, it gives us an opportunity to invite foreign guests, uh, do cultural exchanges with us. Yes. And yes. we do that and showcase with our visitors to Katong Yuchet. Yeah. Yeah. And so one of your partners is actually Color Inc. Yes. And uh, Kit, you know, from Color Inc. is here with us. And she designed this Katong Yuchet art circuit. Mm -hmm. This is a guided walk. As you mentioned earlier, if we wanted a guide, we could get a guide. Yes. So the idea is that you can definitely walk and explore Katong Jujet by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but even greater an idea would be the example if you really want someone to explain to you about heritage, the, the significance of various locations yeah. and things to really yeah. explore and dive down into the, the specifics. Yeah. Yes. Please come find us um, and, and hire one of our guides. Right. So that's important. But if you didn't, mm. then you can download the map. Kit, tell us we can, how we can download this map. Um, well, you can either Google like KJC Art Circuit or mm. you can go to the admin website, go to the admin and um, the, the, guide, the map is inside. Yeah, actually yes. all I did was mm. Google Katong Juchet Art yeah. Circuit and this mm. popped up. The website is the admin, T-H-E-A-D-M-I-N dot S-G, but as Kit says, just Google KJC Art Circuit and the map will pop up. And you can actually go on a self-guided tour if you so choose yes. and walk around the area on your own and you can see the murals, you can see some of the heritage businesses that are there as well Kim Chu Kui Chang is there, also the Popia, you know if your grandmother's always telling you about this Popia, I used to sell it under this big tree, remember Edmund? Oh, that's where my grandma used to sell them, right, yeah, the, right. the banyan tree. The big tree, oh. yeah. yes right. so, so that's the thing, it, it's all there and it's up to us to actually go take a walk around this and uh, you can do this so kjc art circuit google that download the map and maybe hey today is the day kit's going to go there this evening <laughs> so who knows you might be able to bump into her yeah, and she'll I'll take you, you along <laughs> brilliant <laughs> and then go visit edmund and he'll take you yeah, on a walk you, as yes. well <laughs> our town saturday continues in just a moment we are visiting the area of Katong Juchet today and you can download 
the Katong Juchet Art Circuit. The map is available online at theadmin.sg, spelled T-H-E-A-D-M-I-N.sg. Actually, all you need to do is just Google KJE, uh, KJC Art Circuit and this map will show up. You can book a guided tour via the Singapore Visitor Centre that is at Kim Chu Kui Chang. Or you can go on a self-guided tour and take yourself uh, to all the roads. And this covers Ju Chet Terrace, Everett Road, Kun Seng Road, Duku Road, Ju Chet Road, Salon Road, Salon Lane. Uh, East Coast Road and Marshall Road, which is, you know, way on the left. It sounds like a huge area, but actually it isn't all that big. It's it's walkable. Exactly. There's a short route and a long route. Exactly, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. So what, what you have there is actually a portion of the precinct that we are taking care of. Okay. Uh, we cover places like uh, Changi Road, uh, Telukua Road, um, East Coast Road and Tanjong Katong Road. So anything within the boundary, the square perimeter, right. uh, will be within the precinct of Katong right. Kuchet. So the long route will take you actually all the way down to the Eurasian Association, yes, as I yes. see here. So that is actually quite a long ways away. It's way down Juchet. You've got to mm. go all the way down to Salon Road. So that's quite a long walk. But it's a worthwhile walk because exactly, you know what? Right. there's pit stops along the way. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of food along the way. <laughs> and there's lots to look at. And I think right. that's important. I know that, you know, Edmund, you are on a quest <laughs> <laughs> to get people to know this whole area. Right. And now that Kit, you know, who's new to the area, mm-hmm. is also involved, she has fallen in love with it and tonight she's going on a walk on her own as a guest bringing her family. <laughs> is this what you hope to do, Edmund, to convert, introduce Exactly. Like I, I, I think the idea is not about converting, but it's to strike an interest amongst yeah. ourselves, yeah. Um, to be curious, to want to mm-hmm. rediscover what we have in our island. I yeah. think the curiosity will allow us to want to really rediscover what we have as treasures. The Peranic culture right. is very strong in the mm-hmm. Katong Jochet mm-hmm. area. That's without a doubt. We all know that. Even those who don't know Katong very well will know that. You know, for the best, whatever, <laughs> you'd head to uh, Katong. Right. You and your team, you've been promoting this heritage, this mm-hmm. Peranakan heritage and history for quite some time exactly. now. Exactly, right. <laughs> what have you gained from it? In, in other words, when you're promoting it to people who don't know very much, for example, Kit, she's quite new to it, <laughs> and now she's fallen in love with it. What kind of sense do you get out of this? I think it gives affirms the things that I'm actually doing uh, mm. since I mean I was being. I, I got myself involved in a very long time ago. Yeah. When I was young, you know, when I was much younger, and when I was overseas studying, uh, a friend would ask me a question. You know, what is Singapore's culture? I didn't know how to what, what is your identity? <laughs> yeah. um, and it was very challenging for me to share. Because mm. I've always been reminded that in Singapore we are different races, but I think if we look beyond that, yeah. we are truly just Singaporeans. And and so what brings us very nicely together would be to understand that we have a common culture yeah. and, and that of a Peranakan way of life. Right. Yeah. And mm. common foods, because I noticed that in your food retail space at the mm-hmm. Singapore Visitor Centre uh, at Kim Chu Kui Chang, you actually offer only locally produced products. We Aside feature, from yes. what you produce in yes. your kitchen, right. you also feature a whole host mm-hmm. of other local mm-hmm. products. Mm-hmm. We, we, want, we want to be that one-stop location where mm. uh, a visitor comes by or chance upon the space may say, this is something unique, I've not seen this before, I would like to try it. And so we give them the opportunity to say they can bring back something that rightfully belongs to Singapore. What in your store or what local product in your mind is quintessentially <laughs> Singaporean? I know it's a very difficult question <clears throat> to answer, yes. but I'll ask you anyway. Well, that, that is a really fantastic question. Thank you for asking. Now, you know, in Singapore, we have the major festive like the Chinese New Year, yeah. Hari Raya, Diwali, Easter, yeah, 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 yeah. Christmas. Do you know what we share in common during this festive season? Oh, I know the answer because you asked me yes, once, exactly. so I won't say it. Right, <laughs> really, Kit, do yes, you want to... ask me to. Ah, so I ask all the... <laughs> whomever chance to call me, I'll share this with them. Yeah. But you know, you may not know, but the, the best way to really find out more about it is to come and join our guided tours. Mm. But to give you a long shot, yeah. we share a common liking for tarts. Mm. Example, kuei tart, yeah. pineapple tarts. Mm. Yeah. Huh? So the pineapple... Exactly. Is cuts across all of our Exactly, but groups. would you know why we eat pineapple tarts during festive seasons? Tell us now, quick. No, I won't give you that. <laughs> Come and join our guided tours. Come and join our guided tours and then you'll be amazed and you'll be, you know, yeah. be, be, be really interested to want to find out more. About I mean, honestly, it when, yeah. I, when I first met Edmund, that was the story he told me, Kit. Mm. And then when he told me the story, I'm going, yeah, I never thought of it. You know, mm. each of our ethnic groups, we all have the pineapple. We all use it in almost the same way, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Some are used in three out of four. Some are used in 
all the right. different cultures. I mean, the Western culture uses the pineapple right. to a certain extent mm. as well. Mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. appears in some of our desserts and also, you know, pizza. Right. I mean, who can forget the Hawaiian, Hawaiian pizza, pizza, right? It's got pineapple on it. Uh, because pineapple originates from South America. Correct. Right. All right. So, mm. so there's a lot of this history that I mm. think becomes then important for you, Kit. When you were designing the murals yes. and the walk, mm. how much did you have to depend on someone like Edmund to fill you mm. in on the history? Actually, it started from a meeting with with um, with Edmund, and he told her all these different uh, stories. And we we liked the ones that we really liked. Um, we found we saw research more on it. Mm. And every single um, mural right now is based on a story. Um, from give us some examples. Or, yeah, for, aside from the okay, sea turtle. Yeah, besides sea turtle, uh, sea turtle, we have the floods. You know, at one Kunsing Road. It seems that in the past, um, right. it used to get flooded. Yes. And mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and then children used to yes. play on it. On so yes. there's one wall. There's dedicated on it ah. and this wall um, has children playing on water droplets and um, okay. to and soon there'll be a poem that's going to be written on the wall as well about the mumpat trees mm. so we are marrying different things to bring across um, um, the stories mm. and the history of the place right. and so you're um, going to paint the mumpat tree on the side of a building um, too, not, so, um, not so much painting mumpat, just a poem about the mumpat ah, trees okay. yes and and then on every wall there's actually a signpost I'm um, right. describing the stories, and um, you know, you, it's like an outdoor museum. You don't, you, you're, ah, okay. yeah, Got you're, it. you're just seeing this history on location. Mm. Okay, yeah. so what we're talking about, if you've just joined us, is the Katong Juchet area, and this is the precinct that we are visiting today on Our Town Sunday, and in particular, also the Katong Juchet Art Circuit. You can download. Uh, a walk-friendly map. There's a short route and there's a long route. The long route takes you all the way to the Eurasian Association from the center of Katong, the Juchet area, and the short route just takes you to the Pranakan houses, you know, in the area. So there are many different ways to walk it, or you can book a tour via the Singapore Visitor Center, which is at Kim Chukwe Chang, and then this will give the history of all the buildings and the murals and things like that. And so as you were creating this, the floods were something that you found out about. The sea turtles, I never knew that story. The sea turtles, the <laughs> mm-hmm. mumpat trees that we've, I think, forgotten about. We've taken it for granted. Right. The pink flowers mm-hmm. that we see mm-hmm. everywhere. But there's a history behind that as right. well. What do you hope, Kit, for people to take away from the Katong Jujet Art Circuit when they walk around it? I think most importantly is they, they must have like had fun and um found um felt that they have um their time well spent and also um be a bit surprised by um what they've seen mm. you know what, but things that they never knew before I mean your company Color Inc mm. you have a background and a history also in producing events that are related to the Singapore heritage what about Katong Juchet surprised you Mm. Was there something that surprised you about this area? I think almost everything surprised <laughs> me. <laughs> because it's totally new. To me, it was just uh, food before. Right. Yeah. Ah, so you never saw it through another pair of lenses. Yes, ah. exactly. And then by doing things that we want people to see, um, we really saw it differently. Mm. And she's the, the Singaporean that you're hoping to reach, Edmund. Mm-hmm, exactly. If we could touch just based on Singaporeans alone, we could yeah. reach out to more uh, yeah. visiting Singapore. Yeah, that's I mean, plan. you know, and Kit, you're Singaporean. And yes. that's the thing. You only mm-hmm. saw Katong Juchet for its food. Mm. You'd go there, mm. eat and then leave. Yeah, exactly. And perhaps never mm. taken that walk around yes. the place. And yes, and now if, if I do have a, a visitor coming to visit yes. me, there's definitely one of the places mm. that I'll go to. Ah, mm. okay. And I guess that would be the same for me if I were to venture into another precinct that I have no links to, nor have a... Uh, any any memories of mm. I mean Katong Juchet only means something to me because of my childhood days that was spent in Katong Juchet. <laughs> it's a long time that I spent in the <laughs> Katong area. And for you, Edmund, now that you've got the Singapore Visitor Center, now that you hope to reach out to more Singaporeans and not just stop there, mm-hmm. you hope to also reach out to overseas visitors exactly. who come into Singapore exactly. wanting to know the Singapore culture, right. the Singapore history and mm-hmm. the heritage of our country. What do you hope that we will all take away? How do you set yourself apart from all other precincts? Right, I, I guess all precincts would have their very uh, their fair share of sharing. But at least for us, and what we want to tr- establish with the space that we have, uh, would be to be able to allow visitors coming to Singapore to assimilate with our way of life. 
mm. understanding that you know there are various aspects of culture that we can share. They may be particularly interested with uh, maybe perhaps workshop. Uh, we could direct them to different areas within Katong Juche where they can experience them. Uh, and beyond that, what we're trying to hope to establish next year, and this is within the, it's, it's still in the uh, planning phase right now, uh, would be to imagine that we have back alley festivals in Katong and Juche. Oh, I like that. During right. your opening ceremony, that's what you did together with Colour Inc. Exactly. You exactly. took performances into the back alleys. Yes. Were the residents appreciative of what you're doing? Exactly. I think it, it's totally new, a concept of a new concept altogether. And yeah. I guess... It continues to be vibrant because we allow it to be vibrant. We allow ground-up initiatives to take place, mm. allow Singaporeans to be involved, and yeah. it will be less of an orchestrated event, but a little bit more ground-up uh, initiated event. Yeah, and I think that's important. And maybe the next time when you do this, the residents themselves will come forward right. and say, you know what, hey me, let yes. me be a part of this and let right. me put up a, a performance or cook you something or invite right. you into my home mm -hmm. and see how we live in the Katong Juchet area. And that's what I wish for you. Thank you Your very next much. Step, Edmund, and you too. Kit, as you go on to discover more of Singapore's heritage in the work that you do. And thank you both very much. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for having you. us. Right. So remember, you can Google Katong Jujet Art Circuit and then download the map, which is on that website, and take yourself on a little walk, a self-guided walk through the whole Katong Jujet area. Or you can visit the Singapore Visitor Center, which is at uh, Kim Chu Kui Chang, and find out from them how you can sign on to a guided tour and perhaps you might be able to view the beading in progress or how Wei Chang is made. I don't know, <laughs> right. but thank you both very thank much. Thank you very uh, much. Edmund, thank, you, thank, you. thank you, Edmund Wong and also uh, Kit Wan, who is with me today, Lam Kit Wan, on Our Town Sunday. I'm Susan Ng. Thank you for your company.